Welcome back, Wine Chap Chums, for our last Wine Chap TV slot of 2012. Delighted to have Kate Spicer with us uh, to film this Christmas special. Kate. Thank you, Tom. I've got a question for you. I love Christmas, but I often find it's quite repetitive. It's the same old things year after year. A little bit of smoked salmon at lunch, turkey, Christmas pudding, and with those things, champagne, Pinot Noir, or a white burgundy, and then some dreadful old sticky wine. How can I change my experience of Christmas, Tom? I think the obvious answer is to convert to Islam. Mm -hmm. It seems to be popular. Haven't got much time then. No, okay, fine. In which case, um, a, a better alternative is to change your, your beverage choice. And um, appropriately, here we are in the Dickensian gloom of uh, the Electrics Library bar place. It's very, very Get on with it, atmospheric. Get on with um, it. Riesling is what we're recommending. Oh, yes. we've got it poured already. Don't even need to pour it. There you go. That's how yeah. quick this version is. Okay. And, so um, you're suggesting Riesling as an alternative to the champagne we drink with a little smoked salmon pinwheel mm. and that kind of thing. Look at that. It's got the acidity. It's got the Moorish little lick of residual sweetness. Delicious. You can imagine wow. you're drinking that all the time. Perfect. Tom, that is extraordinary. I always have a bit of a problem with Riesling not being a whiny type person. But that's got a bags of character, but beautifully balanced. So the sweetness mm. just isn't a problem. The acidity is perfect. That would be great with anything fishy. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Superb. Um, let's watch Kate nail that. Oh no, she's using some tea today. You won't think it wasn't Christmas. So okay. what's this, Tom? Well, there we go. So you mentioned the fact that you know Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, white or red burgundy, traditional matches for turkey. Boring turkey, dull, overfed, um, tasteless bird. That just like she your is wife. just like my <coughs> my my wife. Of course not. That's not true so at what, all. So what what are you suggesting instead? Pinot Noir, but this time sparkling and rosé and delicious. from Cornwall. From Cornwall, absolutely. Yeah. What do you think of this? A sparkling rosé from Cornwall, all Pinot Noir. Mmm, mm, that's done. It's pretty sexy. That's isn't not it? giving me a champagne type hit. There's something a bit more winey going mm. on here, isn't there? This is very Venus. Very rich, it's spicy. Mm. Um, you wouldn't call it the most elegant of wines. Oh, hello, mood lighting. But nonetheless, um, it, it's got the kind of the, the, the thick, rich, sturdy calves of a Cornish wench at a barn dance. Perfect with turkey. I can't quite believe it, but you know what? It's going to work. Might just do the job. So finally, of course, Christmas pudding, as you mentioned. Uh, oh, this horrible, sweet, gelatinous mess. Best used as a sticky bomb. Um, being drained and drenched in, in household alcohol for six months. Ah, oh, horrible. If you're gonna have to have it, have this. Moscato Dasty, keeping our sparkling theme. But super, super light, gonna be lifting it up in sort of another, an, an something intensely sweet to add to the sticky bomb. We've got something that's gonna lift it. This is good. Like it? angel's wings. Like angel's wings. Angel's wings at the end of dinner. Um, really delicious and fresh and light and... Not yeah. super complex. It's a, there's a lot of elderflower in there, a bit sherbet a little bit of a a bit of a grassy, limey tang. She's good. But really, it does have angels wings. It does, it does lift you up. And you know what? The last thing you want with Christmas pudding is something heavy. Totally not. No. This lifts the spirit. You know. Without so we are going to have mm. an alternative Christmas this year. We're going to keep our spirits up and not by pouring them down us. Brilliant, Kate. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Goodbye. Thank you, Wine Jeff Jumps. Mm.